solve questions uh, on topic uh, five, uh, electricity and uh, magnetism. This question is question number 19 from the document I shared with you on Google uh, Drive. It's related to uh, Kirchhoff's uh, uh, law or circuit analysis. We have two cells of negligible internal resistance are connected in a circuit. So I have this cell at 12 volt and this one we don't have the value of it is uh, voltage. The top cells have electromotive force, 12 volts, 12 volt, and the electromotive force of the lower cell is unknown, just E or V. The ideal ammeter here reads zero, so I don't have a current in this uh, branch. I need to find the value of the voltage or the electromotive for, uh, uh, force of the lower cell. Now we can use uh, Kirchhoff's law. So I have two loops. The first loop, I can assume the value, the current flows in this direction. And here I can assume the current flows in this direction. So the current that comes out from uh, this battery, I can call it I, and this current here at this junction, we call this junction A. The current will split into two currents, I1 and I2. I2 is zero, okay? So the total current I at, let's just change the color, at junction, at junction A, summation of the current should equal zero. So that means I, all the current in will go, will equal to the current out. So I will equal I1 plus I2. Okay, so this is the first law, the first uh, law of uh, Kirchhoff's. Summation of voltage will equal zero. Now we'll take loop one, the top loop. The top loop, the current goes from the lower uh, side of the battery to the higher voltage, the higher side of the battery. So it is, this is positive. So I will have positive 12. Direction of the current is the same direction of uh, of the travel uh, current that I assume same direction, so the voltage across the two ohm will be negative. So minus two times I. Again, same direction, I1 is the same direction of the current that's uh, traveling, so it will be negative. So the voltage across four is negative. Four times the current I1, and this will equal zero. So I can rewrite this equation as 12, will equal to I plus 4I1, and this is equation 1. Now, second loop, this is the first loop. This is the second loop. So now second loop or loop number 2. Same thing, summation of voltage will equal 0. The, current, the traveling current goes from the lower uh, voltage to the higher voltage, so here I have positive, so positive. The traveling current is, uh, is the opposite, is opposite to uh, I2, so the voltage across uh, 3 ohm resistance should be positive, so plus 3 times I2, okay? And here, same direction, the traveling current is in the same direction of the current that goes uh, through uh, the 4 ohm. So it will be negative, negative 4 I1, this equal 0. Now rearrange this equation. So E will be 4 I1 minus 3 I2. And this we call it equation two. Now from equation one, I can substitute 
the value of the current, this value here, this one, this we call it star, equation star, into equation one. So I can remove I and I put instead of it I1 plus I2. So I will have here from equation two, let's continue it here, from equation one, I will have a 12, will equal 2i1 plus 2i2 plus 4i1. Add the common uh, uh, numbers, so I will have 12 will equal 6i1 plus 2i2. And this equation, number four, I'm going to add this equation with, equ with equation number uh, number two. Equation number two, just rewrite it. Equation number two, E, will equal 4i1 minus 3i2. Now, we said i2 is equal zero, so this will equal zero, and this one will equal zero. So from this equation, 12 divided by six, it will give me i1. So i1, will equal 12 divided by 6 is 2 am. Now substitute here. So E will equal 4, I1, 4, I1 is 2. So this will give me 8 volt. So the value of the electromotive force E equals 8 volt. OK, second part of uh, the question is uh, uh, magnetism. The diagram shows charge carriers moving with a speed V in a metallic conductor of uh, width L, charge carrier electrons. So they're moving the electrons, they're moving in this direction with velocity V. And I here I have a magnetic field that goes into the page. So if I, if I, if I use for, uh, my right hand, I can use my left hand for the electrons, my right hand. Uh, if I ch if you use your right hand, uh, flip the direction of the forces. So all of your fingers will go inside the page. This will represent the magnetic field. Thumb in the same direction of the velocity. So it comes out of the palm will be the force. The force is upward since it's electron, just flip it. So it will be downward. So the force, the magnetic force here, will be down the magnetic force now since it's i i have it's, it's a current so there is electric also electric field electric field the direction of the electric field if the electrons is not deflected the electrons moves in a straight line is not deflected so the electric field should should be in the opposite direction of the magnetic force. So if the magnetic force down, the magnet, the electric field should be upward up. That means I will have here, this it will be negative. And here on the top, it should be what? Positive, because the electrons will be attracted to the uh, positive uh, uh, side. So here I will have balanced the electric force and the electric, uh, the magnetic force are equal. So electric force balanced with the electric, with the magnetic force. So the electrons are not deflected. They will move in a straight path. They're not deflected. They're not going like uh, uh, this way. Now electric force is electric field times the charge, uh, magnetic force, magnetic force is Q times V times B, so Q and Q, they cancel out. And I know the voltage, voltage V capital, is the electric field, if you have, if you have electric uh, field that goes in this direction from the positive side to negative side, and the distance between these two plate D, so uh, voltage or, 
potential difference will equal the electric field times this distance D. Now the distance here is L. This distance is L. So electric field will be voltage divided by L. So this one is voltage divided by L will equal the velocity V times V. Cross multiplication. So the voltage will be equal to V B times L. On the diagram, label the part of the conductor where negative charge accumulates here. The negative charge will accumulate down at the bottom uh, side of the conductor and up will be uh, the uh, positive uh, charge. OK, uh, that's it. Uh, we'll continue, inshallah, solving the rest of the questions here in this document in the uh, next videos, inshallah.